and how you guys doing welcome to the show first off i'd like to thank everybody we just hit 40k over on youtube that's amazing man i really appreciate all the support long time we've been doing this and finally made the switch in 2017 or 2018 something like that over to doing biker news video wise so it's a great thing i also appreciate the support by going to our different platform as you will uh, a lot more independent stuff the biker news is, you know encompasses the whole scene and it's uh great stuff uh as far as the mc stuff yeah we covered in biker news but we're not covering it uh you know other than that on this platform and the reason being there's so many people talking about it there's so much you can talk about and there's just so much more to the biker scene than that also we want to send our thoughts out to all the victims in that tornado in kentucky and the surrounding area sad state of affairs man sad state of affairs it really is uh, our thoughts go out to everybody that's experiencing that biker news is on let's hit this sucker right now well well survivors unlikely at amazon facility so while uh jeff bayos was uh celebrating that uh spaceship stuff the employees down there i'm not gonna get into that uh we're doing that on the morning hoot so local motorcycle clubs Sponsor children this Christmas. Yes. Out of Yahoo News. The holiday season is a great time to bring together all kinds of people to benefit those less fortunate in the community. Uh, December 11th, this happened. Uh, the Angel Tree event at 1680 Connolly Springs Road will provide gifts and meals to children and families in need this Christmas. Three motorcycle clubs, the Rolling Saints and the Booze Fighters, baby. One of the best out there. And 10th Legion based in Hickory sponsored an estimated 50 kids this year spending about 200 to 250 per child or in excess of ten thousand dollars they will also be cooking and serving great stuff right there man the freaking booze fighters are legends thanks to all three clubs for showing everybody that it's more than just what the media over the sky news are crazy aussies man Strike Force Raptors again on the move. Three guns, illicit drugs, and a mace seized by police as Hells Angels member uh, arrested on NSW Central Coast. Yes, Strike Force Raptor. They got so many different Strike Forces. It's messed up. But one thing is, it maybe looks like he was preparing for the zombie uh, apocalypse. Because he has a Lucille right there. And I think that's pretty badass, if you ask me. Anyway... Strike Force Raptor charged a 51 year old Hells Angel member on Wednesday after they searched a home uh, on the East Coast. During the search, they seized mace, three handguns, or three guns, including a double barrel sawed off shotgun and two rifles. Two rifles. You guys are crazy over there, man. Crazy. No guns? How do you protect yourselves? Go Second Amendment. They also uh, seized uh, some ice, cannabis seeds, and electric uh, storage device with all items to undergo further forensic investigation. He was taken to the cop shop when he was charged with 14 firearm and drug-related offenses and was review, uh, refused bail. Look at Lou. That's awesome, man. Come on. That's a badass thing right there. Anyway, uh, Sheriff's Office, uh, this is out of WAVY. Uh, High-ranking member of the Wheels of Soul Motorcycle Gang, they call it. Arrested in Isle of Wight. 
Uh, this happened, when did this happen? Uh, December 8th, it says. Uh, according to the sheriff's office, deputies conducted a search warrant on uh, for two stolen vehicles at the 30,000 block of Holly Run Drive. During the search, office, officials discovered various types and quality quantities of illegal narcotics ammunition and firearms which then led to another search they charged him with seven felonies and one misdemeanor now this was pretty cool they finally did this something but i guarantee he probably won't get that much time uh arrest made in 2019 fatal motorcycle crash Yes, the driver in a 2019 motorcycle crash has been arrested on a charge of DUI manslaughter for the death of a woman who was riding with him on his motorcycle. Don't care if you're riding on a motorcycle, in a car, whatever, you're DUI, you're drunk, you kill somebody, go to prison. That's the way it works. And more than six years. Uh, Scott Howard Bobbins left Mugshot's bar on the night of September 8, 2019 with Casey Riley, who had said she wanted to ride on a motorcycle. Riley left her purse and phone at the bar because she intended on coming back. However, the motorcycle ran off the road on Highway uh, 301 near CR-225. And unfortunately, she was pronounced dead on the scene. The evidence at the scene indicated that the motorcycle had been traveling over 90 miles an hour when it swerved off the road. Uh, the body was found 283 feet from where the motorcycle came to rest. Bobbins was found 270 uh, feet. Bobbins had life-threatening injuries, so his blood alcohol was way up there. Uh, the legal limit was uh, 0.8. He was at 0.155. Uh, charges were filed on June 11th, and a warrant was issued for his arrest. Why did it take so damn long? That's what I have to ask. Why did it take so long? Wall of shame. Oh, yeah, wall of shame, you freak. Ex-Montana police chief admits distributing child porn using Facebook. Another sex freak, man. Uh, former Montana police chief admitted to using Facebook to distribute child pornography. They'll censor us for multiple postings, but not him. I guess that's the way Facebook works. Anybody else use Facebook that much? I know we keep our page up on it. Other than that, I really don't use it. Uh, William Daly Harrington, who resigned from the East Helene Police Department in March pleaded guilty to using Facebook on oh, Messenger in 2019 to share sexually explicit images of kids. Court documents show a member of the Montana Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force got a tip in September that Facebook Messenger had reported one of its accounts was sharing children porn. My goodness gracious, you, you know what, you're a freak, I hope you get what you get in the, uh, the joint, that is, you know what, I hate that kind of crimes, that is so messed up. Final thoughts, final thoughts. Yeah, get a poker or use Lucille that they found over C's on him. You know, that'd make a good thing, uh, you know, where uh, he can't sit for the rest of his life. What is it with these six co cops, man? What is it with them? I don't get it. And you guys are always on bikers and clubs. It's like a never-ending story with some of the crimes that you really commit. 
And again, we're working on that uh, extended version of the Wall of Shame. I'm just waiting for this green background to come in. And it seems like it's sitting off the shores of California right now. It's taken forever to get here. It's supposed to be here two weeks ago, and it still ain't here. So I'll be covering uh, the extended version of that. Also, we have some minis we've been doing. Uh, we started our first one, uh, so you want to date a biker. You know, they're just quick, you know, thoughts of my demented mind that I'm throwing up, you know, between three and five minutes. So those would be coming out as well on a regular basis. Like I said, it's just for fun. Break up some of the tension, man. Break it up. And then, of course, uh, we have that one story where that motorcyclist got killed uh, another hit and run i don't care if they want to classify it as that or not but when you leave the scene of a crime that's a hit and run or a, an accident the sad state of affairs man it always seems like it's not imperative for them when a biker goes down they're a human being like they said he was a grandfather he was a great grandfather, a husband. Come on, man. Really? Put some, you know, put some work into it. Maybe you should put some work like you do into, you know, trying to catch up bikers and clubs and all kinds of stuff. Maybe put a little effort in the finding these type of people that are destroying a lot of lives. And as far as DAs are concerned, enough with the light sentences. That's just, uh, it's just messed up. And then, of course, we have our good stuff. It's a holiday season right now. Uh, Black Dragon talked about suicide prevention on his. Make sure you look for the signs because a lot of people are alone this Christmas. So look at that, but congrats for all the bikers getting out there and helping kids. But I'm going over... To the morning who and the second half of this show is already up on all the podcast platforms uh it goes for about an hour over there so listen to us while you're at work good second part of the show i'm adi i'll talk to you guys later have a good one to the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or youtube channel all such charges are merely accusations, and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law.